As Matatu transport ground to a halt in most parts of the country, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport was abuzz with activity as the eager travelers boarded jumbo jets maiden flight to the coastal town of Mombasa. It, however, became apparent that not all travelers were able to enjoy the low air fares that the new airline had promoted prior to its launch. I paid 5,100 one way, yeah. I didn't expect that. I booked it yesterday evening. So I think they should really, really clear that up because um, it's not what they said. But according to the airline's chief executive officer, low-cost fares can only be availed to travelers who book early. Travelers are also expected to pay extra for snacks and any additional luggage they bring along. The, the biggest challenge we have is that people here do not really plan ahead. Uh, they, they, they'll, they'll see and, uh, and take their decisions very late. Now, and our, our model says the earlier you book, the cheaper you fly. And with the Easter holiday season fast approaching, it will be interesting to see whether Jumbo Jet's no-frills approach to flying will win additional takers. Bella Genga for The Big Question.